Hello friends and welcome to Pi Shine. This is part 9 of the Pi QT5 learning series. By the end of this video, you will be able to design a graphical user interface in Python. For the video processing, we will take snapshots to save images with the date and time stamp. We will use the model view and control method to design the GUI, just like before, in the previous tutorial, for the image processing. Let's recall the concept behind efficient GUIs. It is called MVC, or Model, View and Controller. A user interacts with the GUI by providing the inputs to the controller. Controller accepts the user input and converts it to commands for the model or view. The model is independent of the user interface. It is responsible for managing the data of the application. The updated information is then sent to the view. In this way, the circle of information completes. The MVC approach allows code reuse, simultaneous development, and easy debugging, where each part can be tested independently. All right, the GUI design is similar to our previous tutorial. The link is available in the description below. To save time, we will quickly recall the steps performed while making the GUI. As the process.py file was edited in the image processing tutorial. Here, we have made few changes to that code. The code on the right hand side is from tutorial 5 for the image processing, and current code is on the left hand side for the video processing. To save file with a date and time stamp, here we initialize it using the time format as shown. Unlike the previous one, here in the load image function, we will use video capture and assign each video frame to self.image. In a while loop, we will continue to get the new video frames and then call the self.update function. Other functions like set photo, brightness value, blur value, change brightness and change blur are same as before. However, in the update function, we have added the text on the image before calling the set photo function. The save photo function will take a snap and name it according to current date and time. In this way, every new photo will be given a new name. The save button is renamed as take picture in the retranslate UI function. In addition to this code file, we also require the face detection model in the XML format. The link to this code, including the instruction to download the XML file is available in the description below. As you can see the video is playing, and we can adjust the brightness and blur values. We observe that only the image is changing, and not the text added to it. This is because, in the MVC model, we are only changing the data, and observing the text in the view. Alright, it's time to take some photos by pressing the take picture button. With every picture taken, the name is added accordingly.
the GUI remains responsive. You can add more functions to this code according to your requirements. Let's see the face detection in another video. That's all for today. If you have questions, suggestions, please comment, share if you like and subscribe to PyShine. Have a nice day and see you again.